Welcome to the Resurrection Garden. The garden is a place of prayer, meditation and contemplation. It is located in Karen at Rhino Park Road of Karen Dagoretti Market Road in the Archdiocese of Nairobi. It was founded by the servant of God, His Eminence Cardinal Maurice Michael Otunga, together with Father Otavio Santoro, a consolata missionary. This beautiful shrine opened its doors to the public in 1994 as a sacred place where faithful can come for special devotions. The main aim of this prayer garden is to help us to strengthen our Christian faith and dedication by meditating on the roots of Christianity. The resurrection of Jesus Christ took place in the garden, John 19:41, and that is the reason this shrine is named Resurrection Garden. Prayer demands silence, and pilgrims who visit this shrine are expected to observe silence while in the garden in order to allow people to freely express their own personal devotions to God. At the immediate entrance of the garden, you will find the retreat house named after Mary Magdalene, a person who plays a major role in one of the most powerful and important moments in Jesus' life. She is the first witness of the resurrection. Going inside by the parking, we have the Consolata Conference Hall, the Garden Canteen, the John Paul II Bookshop, and small chapels built in round shape to appreciate the African houses. These chapels are for groups who would wish to hold discussions before prayer. Our hall can host 200 seated and therefore useful for church seminars and retreats. Just before the entrance to the sacred ground, you will find Cardinal Morris Otunga Memorial Hall. This hall is hosting a wonderful world of the servant of God, Cardinal Morris Michael Otunga, from when he became the first Kenyan African bishop to the first Kenyan cardinal. In order to be able to maintain the hall, pilgrims who visit it are charged 50 shillings only. Immediately you go inside the sacred ground, you will find Cardinal Otunga Memorial Chapel, where lies the remains of the late Cardinal Otunga. The servant of God is being considered for sainthood. People pray at his tomb, and the cause of his beatification is in the process. Inside the garden, we have six different chapels, including Adoration Chapel. These chapels are strictly for masses, but are always opened every day for those who wish to pray inside. The chapels can host different number of people to a maximum of 1,500. The garden has a salvation way with a beautiful mosaic portraying the beginning of life in Eden when man disobeys God through the rescue of Israelites from slavery in Egypt to the birth of Jesus Christ in Bethlehem. On the way of the cross, we witness the betrayal of Jesus Christ at the Last Supper, the old ordeal of suffering to his resurrection laid in beautiful bronze panels. The garden has a well-maintained lawn for those who want to pray in total silence. People are allowed to sit alone at the lawns, but no groups are allowed to hold discussions there. You can visit the shrine for prayer, reflection, directed retreats, meditation, recollection, seminars, spiritual direction, counseling, and sacrament of reconciliation. For religious services, Holy Mass, weekdays at 5 p.m., Saturdays at 1 p.m. and 5 p.m., Sundays at 10 a.m., confessions, Saturdays and other days on request, monthly recollection, last Saturday of the month. Eucharistic Adoration, first Sunday of the month at 4 p.m. Pilgrims may organize their own recollections and prayer sessions. For more information, kindly contact us on 079-263-3496 or 072-688-4131. You can send an email at theresurrectiongarden at gmail.com. You can also visit our website at www.resurrectiongarden.org. Being a sacred place, no fees are charged for the use of the garden, but pilgrims are kindly requested to make voluntary donations for the maintenance of the shrine. You can make your donations through M-Pesa Pay Bill number 7195641 or write a check to Consolata Fathers Resurrection Garden as indicated on this poster.
If you want to imagine the Bible from the time of creation, where man disobeys the Creator through the delivery of his ally to the time Jesus died for our sins and came back to life, then visit the Resurrection Garden 